What about the endpoints, James? We talked about computing endpoints, aka phones, iPads, authorized laptops, etc. Mm-hmm. My son's gaming machine. So endpoint from that perspective. But what about endpoints that are being spun up in service providers, hosting mm-hmm. facilities, AWS, Azure, for as a point of example. You gave a little bit of example about how that can happen in speed now. People want they put their assets there. Mm-hmm. So how can we move quickly? How can a person move quickly and confidently into a cloud environment and just be able to have a the lightest but most powerful touch on those endpoints? One of them obviously open DNS. What about some others? The the <clears throat> best thing in that picture is uh, to flip around the idea that says it's safe because it's in the cloud. There's a good t-shirt that says there is no cloud, it's just someone else's computer. Uh, and, and people from a security aspect should really believe it that way. And they should believe they need to secure that computer. So the best way to move fast is the first thing you do is treat it like you would any other data center. In any other data center, you would drop a firewall in and then say, put your servers behind it. And that's exactly what people should do in the cloud. You drop a firewall in and then you spin up your boxes behind it. And by a firewall, I mean a real firewall, an actual third-party standard vendor firewall like you would have on-premise, uh, not the AWS built-in or the Azure built-in uh, or the vCloud built-in firewalls. That's just a router. Uh, and so you want to spin it up. The other thing you want to do is not rely on any host-based firewalling. So for example, uh, almost every developer that we talk to who has Joomla, Drupal, or WordPress uh, says they have security and it's some host-based plugin for WordPress. But half the time the attacks we see are attacking the actual operating system or are attacking the web service before that plugin even has a chance to move. So we really have to uh, start taking back security from uh, marketing and developers in the cloud and make sure there's a normal security and that their systems are behind it. That also helps them move fast because they get to concentrate on development and not try to We've seen that learn to be security lot. folks. We, the, it's the, been the a devel- lot lately. The developers, the developers are hustling, getting the, they're doing their job and they mm-hmm. want to go quickly. The capabilities mm-hmm. of the security team um, are essentially being forced into a hole because they don't have the architecture mm-hmm of how they want it. And so they're letting the developers run the security show. And that's happening at least- Everywhere. Yeah. And it's a great way to steal passwords because all the developers want to pop it up and either sync with the user's normal AD password so yeah. that the user is, uh, it's faster and, and they don't have to remember another password. Yeah. Uh, or users naturally just make it the same as their work password. And because they're insecure, it's just a great way to lift passwords away and then do yeah. the ACH fraud by logging in as the user. Because it's not hacking if you log in with the password. You're just using a password you shouldn't. It's, it's well, not really a, hacking yeah, at that, that point. Kind of full, full circle back to you know account takeovers. You're right. just logging in as as someone else essentially. Mm-hmm.